The Big Book of Spider Life Cycles, written by Sarah Murphy, designed by April Ferry. The Big Book of Spider Life Cycles, written by Sarah Murphy, designed by April Ferry. These are spiders. Brown recluse, black widow, cobalt blue tarantula, cucumber spider, yellow garden spider, golden orb weaver. Put your hand on the page and see how big we are. These pictures are true to life size. So, so you can see that they are pretty, some are pretty big, some are pretty small. Spiders come in all sizes from very big to very little. The garden funnel web spider, a wasp spider, jumping spider, wolf spider, goliath bird eater, says I am the largest spider in the world, Samoan moss spider. The goliath bird eater has a leg span of 10 inches. The Samoan moss spider is only 0.1 inches long. A life cycle. A garden spider makes an egg sac. It uses silk to make its egg sac. Baby spiders come from eggs. Baby, baby spiders are called spiderlings. Baby spiders look like adults, but they are very small. How do they grow? Many spiders leave their eggs after laying them, but wolf spiders carry their eggs and spiderlings on their backs. A spider has a hard outer shell called an exoskeleton. To get bigger, the spider has to get rid of that shell and grow a new one. This is called molting. A spider's joints are on the outside of its body instead of inside like a human's. A spider has seven joints per leg. A joint is something that can bend and move like your knee or your ankle. Preening. When a spider begins to molt, a layer of fluid forms between its body and its exoskeleton. Yeah, they show you is the body, is the fluid, the exoskeleton, and its hair. A second exoskeleton starts to grow underneath the layer of fluid. Then the spider begins to rub its abdomen. Many spiders flip over onto their backs to do this. A spider's heart starts to beat faster. This makes its body expand which stretches the old exoskeleton. A tarantula's heart is in its abdomen. Next, the spider's muscles vibrate. The vibrations crack the old exoskeleton. The spider crawls out of its old exoskeleton. The new exoskeleton 
looks white until it hardens. Here is hardened exoskeleton, a newly molted spider. All spiders have hair on their exoskeletons. The hair has to grow back every time a spider molts. A spider can't survive without hair. A spider can hear, taste, smell, and feel with its hair. Spiders will molt many times before they become full-size adults. Some adult spiders molt about once a year. Spider molting cycle. First it preens. And there's the pre-molt. Then it sheds its exoskeleton. The newly molted spider. Humans have skeletons on the inside. Our bones grow longer as we get older. That is how we get bigger. Babies have more bones when they are born than adults do. As we grow, some of our bones fuse together. Here is 